If you're a regular here to the channel, you will know that I'm a big fan of the Thermomix TM6. You'll also know I'm a huge fan of sous vide cooking. It can truly elevate your food to restaurant standard. There's no guesswork, it's so simple and very convenient. Now your TM6, if you didn't know, has a sous vide cooking function. Today I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to get a simple chicken breast, add a little bit of salt and pepper, get it in a bag, cook it for an hour and then just finish it in the pan. If you follow these simple instructions, I promise you that this chicken breast will taste like no chicken you've eaten before. Now, just before we get started, my channel has just passed 3,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. Now, of course, I could not have done it without the support and love from all you wonderful people. So from the bottom of my heart, I'd just like to say thank you so much. Speaking of subscribers, if you look at my channel analytics, you'll see that a massive 95% of you watchers aren't subscribed. So that being said, if you enjoy the content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Right, to get started with sous vide, you need two items. The first one being the blade cover. Do not attempt to sous vide cut without this or you'll burst your bag and make a right mess. Now, if your Fermi was not shipped with one like mine, you'll have to go to their website and get one ordered. Speaking of bags, you've got two choices. You've got these trusty pump bags like I'm showing you here. These are not very expensive, they'll get you started, they're reusable and really easy to use. But if you really get into sous vide cooking, I recommend a vacuum sealer like this one. The other thing you need is, of course, the Thermomix. One of the negatives when it comes to sous vide cooking with the Thermomix TM6 is the limited size of the bowl. You are very limited as what you can cook. It's ideal for things like chicken breasts, steaks and small joints. But if you really get into sous vide cooking and you want to upgrade to a standalone unit, I highly recommend the Burton sous vide, which is what I have here. Of course, Amazon affiliate links will be on the channel description for the sous vide bags, the vacuum sealer and the Burton sous vide, should you want to purchase either. Right, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on. Okay, let's get set up. Here is the blade cover. Just going to pop it over and in and that is it right let's fill it with some water right i fill it with warm water because it will warm up quicker you just need to be very careful that you don't you just take it to the max level any higher than that and it, the water will spill over the top when you add your bag right okay let's prep this chicken breast as i've said no heroics a little bit of salt just some basic seasoning a little bit of pepper same with the other side, salt, pepper, that is really it. Now let's just pop it in the bag. And to that chicken breast, I'm just going to add about half a tablespoon of butter and that is it. But for the firmer mix, I wouldn't recommend more than two chicken breasts at once. I don't think any more would fit. Okay, to the trusty vacuum sealer, really simple, lay it there, lid down. Uh, just gonna be, I'm going to put this down as dry food and seal. Away we go. And there we are, as simple as that one sealed chicken breast. Right, guys, let's prep the Fermi, okay? If you're going to be sous vide cooking for more than two hours, I recommend that you add two tablespoons of um, lemon juice to the bowl, and this will stop it from oxidizing. We're only going to be cooking for an hour today, so let's hit the sous vide function. There we are, it's already on it, so I'm going to heat this to 60, just put it on an hour and 20 for now. So 60 degrees C, and we'll select that preheat. Okay, here we are, as you can see the target temperature is uh, 60 and it is actually at 60, so I'm just going to stop the unit and get the bag in. Carefully remove the lid, because the water is going to be hot. Screw your bag up. In she goes. Lid on. Could actually cook it for up to three hours. It wouldn't make much difference. So that's the hour. And let's go. See you in an hour. Right, Thermi fans, the time is up. I'm going to carefully remove this bag. If you didn't want to eat this now and you wanted to save it for later, you could plunge this into some cold water. Let it cool down a little bit. 
then just keep it in the fridge for up to about three, four, five days. Okay, I will note that you could, again, you could eat this now, you can just break it up, put it in salads or whatever else, but I like to just to give it a little bit of color. So medium high pan, a little bit of olive oil, in with the chicken breast, and the contents of the bag. We're gonna brown this for about a minute aside, not too long or you'll start overcooking it. Okay, I'm now gonna pop it over. That looks very nice. And just cook it for about another minute. So there we have it, as simple as that. Now let's just take a knife and just cut down the middle and just look how juicy this chicken breast looks. So easy, so convenient. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Thank you.